Welcome back everybody to another episode of Respect It or Check It. Today we're going to be talking about a situation that just happened with them island boys. Not the one with the turkey bird right here on his forehead, but the other one, Fly Soldier. Their house apparently just got raided and someone ended up getting arrested for a murder of an eight-year-old girl. Do the paperwork and all, they say one of them told, you feel me? So you know we're going to be talking about that shit. <laughs> Dom the best, finna be this way till I EOS Take it how you want nigga, yeah I'm a pro Fuck around, I bust your lot while you're at Vizzo I hate to be this way, but I live for the moment Waking up every day, show me an opponent Shanks on deck, hitting bitches with locks So much pool, I can even start you from the box You don't wanna pay rent, got me bent Got lacks on deck, your money was well spent Vultures on the prowl, so don't try testing Step two, cause violent first steps, finessing You a hold down man, suitcase this My cell phone, I'm a charger, don't walk with a limp Get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it Next time I see you ass, you gon' leave airlifted What's up, y'all? You already know, man. K Fraud TV back in the building. Y'all go ahead and do me that solid favor. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button, and also make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. Welcome back to another episode of Respect It to Check It. Today, we're going to be talking about the situation, how the Island Boys rental house had just got raided, and they found a murder suspect there of an eight-year-old girl. Now, for those that have been watching me for a while, or if you just tuned in a few videos ago, then you'll know the last video that I dropped was strictly called snitches get stitches okay so in that video i even broke it down and spoke on how people will tell and feel like they had the right to tell if there's a reason to tell behind it it isn't snitching even if there's a reason behind it there is still snitching okay and what just happened was when they raided the island boy's house one of them was home which was the one whose real name is alex Alex isn't the one with the turkey bird tattoo right here. Not Kodak Black's June June. Not that one. That's Kodiak Red. Not him. The other one. He was there, which is Fly Soldier. When he was home and they raided the house, the person who they arrested for the murder of the eight-year-old girl, which was a dude named Thomas, that same dude tried to hide a gun inside of the house. And before the police came in, you know, Fly Soldier was telling them, hell nah, bro, you ain't hiding that in here. You ain't hiding that in here. Which it makes sense, you know. Of course, you, you got to put down on someone if they trying to, you know, that's like if they're trying to hide a gun in your car when you get pulled over and everything. You feel me? But the fact is that the person tried to do that to you in the first place shows they don't respect you. You feel me? Just to try you like that. You feel me? For them to even try you like that shows that, you know, they, they don't look at you like no man. They look at you a down, like they're dominance above you. Okay, but where it gets bad is the paperwork says that when the police came in, Alex, which is Fly Soldier, told the police that Thomas went inside of the laundry room with the gun and came out without it. That he put the gun inside the laundry room. So when the police went in the laundry room, inside of the closet in the laundry room, they found the firearm. Okay, now some people are going to look at it like, well, you know, if he didn't tell him it was his, then, you know, he would have got charged with it because it was his rental house, right? That's how people would look at it, right? Well, this is an episode of Respect It or Check It. So I'm going to let y'all know if I respect what Fly Soldier did or I got to check it. And I'm going to let you know I got to check it. It isn't respected, okay? And the reason for that is think about it, okay? I'm going to break it down for y'all. He told, all right? He literally told on that man. And then he told them that they'd known him growing up and everything like that. He never was that type of person. The person who got arrested for the, the drive-by shooting of the little eight-year-old girl. You feel me? Now, like I said, some people may look at it like, well, what you think you were supposed to do? If not, they would have charged him with it. Okay? Like I said, think about this. Okay? Now, the time he had to hide the gun. All right? The dude who Fly Soldier told on. The dude had probably fucking 20 to maybe a minute to hide the gun before the police were coming in. When he went inside that laundry room, yeah, he probably could have wiped the gun down and he hid it and everything like that, right? But you think he actually had time to take the clip out and wipe down all the bullets? No. So what Fly Soldier should have did is just kept his mouth closed. He don't know nothing about no guns. They find the gun. They can't charge both people with possession of a firearm. So they probably would have charged Fly Soldier with it because it was his house. It was it was his rented house. You get what I'm saying? So they probably would have charged him with it. But, but he would have beat the case. And I'm saying because his prints wouldn't have been on the gun that wasn't his. You feel me? And nine times out of ten, even if the gun was wiped down by the individual who placed it inside the laundry room, 
okay? He didn't have time to wipe all the bullets off. You know when people load guns and shit like that, you know, they wipe guns down and everything. But if it's a pistol, then you know, and you got to load the clip nine times out of ten, they didn't have no damn gloves on or their prints are on that gun. You feel me? So, possession's nine-tenths of the law. So, at the end of the day, the realness that Fly Soldier should have did is just kept his mouth closed. Or let them find what they find and then see if the dude holds up to it. And then just, you know, keep it real on his end. You know, but he did take the coward route by telling off rip. You feel me? By literally telling them the individual went in the laundry room, put the gun in there. That right there is 100% telling. That right there is to where every single time we see that person on TV or on TikTok or anywhere, we should see whiskers. When you look at them, you should see whiskers. That's how I look at it. You feel me? And I'm just being real. Because if it was anybody else... If it was a random person that did that, they'd be looked at like a snitch, wouldn't they? If you was in prison, right? I'm going to give you all a prison scenario. If you was in prison and you had a cell phone and the guards ran in there and they said, we're going to shake down this whole dorm unless we find a phone because we know an individual in here might have a phone, right? You don't want them to shake down the dorm. So you say, oh, he went in the cell six. He went in the cell six with the phone and then he came out without it. You, you just let them know where at in that quad to go look. And then they go inside cell six. They come out with the phone. They take that individual to the box. You don't think that was telling on that person? Think about it. I do. I look at it like that's 100% telling. At the end of the day, people try to look for escape routes to where they feel like it's all right to tell. It's all right to get your fucking whiskers. And to me, there isn't no reason. Because there's ways to literally get around stuff. Think about it. Now, when you hang out with people and people are involved in certain things, whether you know what they're involved with or not, at the end of the day, you surround yourself by the type of people that you surround yourself by. You put yourself in harm's way when you hang out with these certain type of people. So it's basically like, don't be in that water if you can't swim. You feel me? And just because you got clout and the other person don't got clout doesn't mean that you're entitled to where you could just point the finger at somebody and get away with it. My God's honest opinion, that shit ain't respected. I have to check it. They need to treat Fly Soldier the same way they do 6 9 That boy don't be getting as much play as he used to before he told. You know, when he first came out and shit, everybody thought he was going viral again and all that. You feel me? But his album flopped. You know, nobody respects the kid with the rainbow hair. They need to do the same thing to Fly Soldier. Okay? That's how I look at it. Because at the end of the day, the police could have just found the shit. He could have kept his mouth closed. Nine times out of ten, the damn fingerprints would have been the other person's on there regardless. You know, that's when you're locked up in the county. You keep your mouth closed. And then you, you put into where they, they check for fingerprints. You see? And then next thing you know, your fingerprints ain't on it. So there's a gun found in your house. That's running under your name that isn't no fingerprints on it with your fingerprints on it. And then there's another person that's in your house that's a suspect that, you know, for violation of probation, he had a couple other charges as well. You feel me? And like I said, even if he wiped it down when he put it inside the closet, they didn't think of doing it until the police were surrounded right in the house. So he didn't have that much time to pop the clip open and take all the bullets out and wipe them down. It's common sense. You feel me? But... We already known, well, at least me and, and, and half of the people that watch, you know, the Island Boys already know that dudes can't hold their water. You feel me? It's just a matter of time. You know what I'm saying? And this ain't even the video that I was going to drop today, but I just felt like touching topics because a lot of people hit me up on Instagram saying I should do a video on it. And you know what? Why not? Respect it or check it. So in my eyes... Fly soldiers, police, he will always have them whiskers. And I'm just being real. That right there will show you, you feel me, that everybody ain't your homeboy. You know, he was just scared. He didn't know what else to do. You know, I could see if they apprehended him and he was like, I don't know who that shit belongs to. And he just stuck with that story. But by literally telling them where he walked in with the gun, where he put the gun he walked out without a gun, telling him exactly where it was. That right there was a 100% police move, and it is not respected. But, hey, you already know. It's up to y'all to drop in the comment section how y'all feel. Do you respect it or do you check it? 
Y'all know my answer. Y'all drop y'all's in the comment section. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all already know, man. Till next time, this the one and only from Florida, Frog.